so which I mentioned is basically social and political today, which is only a cleansing process of the body. We use blue violet because it's an antiseptic and it's, it used to paint that on uh, horses and people who got cuts years ago. With rock rose and red clover blossoms, we use chickweed, cleavers, again, used for colds, coral red clover, blood purifier. We have the burdock, which is a blood purifier, the yellow dock, another blood purifier, dandelion root. So we're just putting together some blood purifiers here for this cancer. We're going to put together the red clover, the dandelion root, the burdock root, maybe some golden seal root. And we put all this together. That would be a popular combination for uh, cancer. Uh, of course, we can use the rock rose, the slip around, which acts on the digestive tract, the sorrel, which is good for warts and tumors and skin diseases. Sorrel is good for that, as well as thuja and sanical. We have the wood sage, the yellow docks. The docks are always good for blood purifying the blood to help work on the, on the liver. And the poplar, the golden seal, and the poke. And the comfrey and blue flag. Now we're getting into cramps, which is waste, lactic acid, waste in the muscles, or it can be caused by varicose veins. I don't know which. But again, the muscles are not getting enough oxygen, so they're contracting. Blue cohosh is good for that. And if you're having cramp in the stomach, cayenne or ginger would help that. But you can actually get a herb called cramp bark, which would be ideal for this situation. Instead of using all these, just get cramp bark. Groups is just another type of coal. We're back to those coal remedies again I mentioned before, mullein, chickweed, colt's foot, whorehound, pleurisy, alicampane. Those are good for colds, but you're having these spasms here, so you have to use another combination. Something to relieve the spasms, catnip, chamomile. Corns and calluses, we use bittersweet chamomile combined into an ointment. You can get the ointment already made today. Some people use uh, digestive enzymes combined with garlic, that sort of thing for the uh, corns and calluses to soften the skin, especially going to feet, you soak your skin in ginger root uh, tea. Coughs, you use blue violet, comfrey, colt's foot, ginger, forehound, hyssop, lungwort, myrrh, oregano, white pine, white pepper. We're just trying to relieve the spasms that's causing the cough here with these herbs. So primarily, you probably use the comfrey and the colt's foot or the comfrey with some myrrh or the comfrey and some hyssop or the comfrey and some forehound. But any one of these herbs are good for that. Some people even just chew on some licorice or some ginger root to relieve this coughing because it irritates your throat. So we use the whorehound, which is kind of bitter, by the way, to stop lung with myrrh, oregano, all those. Chest trouble, that's just a generalized kind of symptom. It's not a sign. It's just a generalized symptom. I don't know what's causing the chest trouble. So we were saying ginseng to give you more energy, hops to relax the chest hyssop to open up the uh, tissue so it can excrete the waste, myrrh is antiseptic, the pimpernel, white pine, the sassafras, the Solomon seal. Again, I don't know what's causing the chest trouble, so this is like a shotgun remedy, including some astringents, some things that, to expectorate, some things to close, open up the pores, elecampane, some things to close the pores. It's a shotgun form, as we call it. Convulsions, we're into nerve disorders, so we're going to use those kind of herbs that are sedatives and comatives, primarily the catnip, the skull cap, the valerium, the skunk cabbage, all of those good kind of uh, sedatives to help relieve these convulsions. Peppermint is always good for the nervous system. Catar is another word for mucus congestion. So we're back to the same respiratory type herbs I mentioned before, the uh, mullen, the colt's foot, the whorehound, that's the colt's foot, the whorehound, the um, um, comfrey is good for catarrh, as well as the, um, I think I've already mentioned most of the ones, the mullein, the pleurisy, the campaign. so I think you may be kind of familiar with that by now. Sanical is good for uh, skin diseases of all sorts, so is Thuja, and then we use the skunk cabbage for respiratory to expectorate the mucus, and sarsaparilla that works on the mucosal membrane tissue, and blood root, which kind of shuts down, closes the pores to help them to excrete the waste and comfrey, which has extringent effect. Butcher is a diuretic to help you just excrete the waste. Now you have poor circulation, pale fingernails, your feet get cold easy, your hands get cold, circulation is poor, you're causing dandruff and all that sort of thing. 
So you want to increase the circulation.